Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I will be doing a great video today and this video is going to be decorating spring core areas on my island. If you see this picnic area, I did that. I did a speed build on that. So if you want to watch that, it was just a simple picnic area. It turned out very cute and right now I'm putting down the cedar trees, which those are the best trees. I will only be using those cedar trees in this build today. Um, basically this area is going to be like a walkway and I'm just going to put a bunch of trees and flowers framing in a pathway in the middle. So I'm actually putting that pathway right now. And first of all, I'm just going to put the in-game dirt path and then I'm going to be putting a code on top of that so that it looks way better. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I'm putting more trees on the other side. I actually had an inspiration, uh, a picture that inspired this whole build. And I'll put that on the screen right now. And I got it from Pinterest and I drew a little wagon at the end because I knew I wanted to add that. But I think it was really cool for me to take a real picture and turn it into something on Animal Crossing. So I really want to do that more often. I think that that's such a great way to just be creative because obviously you can't do exactly what the picture shows because you only have animal crossing items um but that is so cool i really loved that doing that and i'm putting that brick it looks amazing on top of the dirt path um that's what i was um that's what looks better than the dirt path and then i dropped a book because i love those they're so cute and i just wanted to add a little detail and i'm picking up some flowers from my beach. I put them on the beach and I just have a hard time not running over them. But also I have my green mum field. Um, I really love green mums. I re that's my favorite flower. But yes, I'm mainly going to be using green, pink, and white flowers. So yeah, that's the color scheme. I'm getting the pink hyacinths. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm adding the flowers. Wow. Oh yeah, and also you see that the trees aren't grown in yet. I will definitely show you how it looks like when it is grown. So yeah, picture them fully grown, but I will also show you it in the end result. The music in this video is by Demon Gummies. I love their music and I will put all their information down below. You should check them out and I really love using their music in my videos, so yes. I'm adding these little extra sparse daisies on the ground and they look super magical. They look like little sparkles on the ground. I feel like they add a lot of detail, so I always include that in any build that I do. And I'm putting the leaves. And it's the next day what oh my goodness you see the trees they're grown in okay i'm kind of fixing them up right now i wanted them to be stunted some of them so i wanted them to stay small forever so i'm just going to be planting an apple right beside them so that they just keep that stage of their life and i'm moving some so yeah, I definitely wanted some trees to be smaller than others. So that's why I'm putting some apples behind them. Oh 
all right the best part of this whole thing is this spooky carriage yes that's so amazing okay this is the end result and it's very simple and i feel like it is very spring magical walkway and i love that spooky carriage at the end my goodness that is stunning and look at chevre at the end waiting for me me walking down the aisle and that was that simple speed build of that walkway and now we're going to be doing a speed build right next to it we are going to be doing a floral dining area so i also had inspiration from pinterest for this one i'll include the picture and just to start everything off i'm just putting down a bunch of leaves on the ground um that's kind of like the pathway i'm going to be using and the turkey day tables are amazing i customized them for springtime and I'm putting three of those. And I'm putting turkey day table, I mean ter turkey day chairs to match. And I'm putting table settings. It looks very formal. Okay, so basically I wanted to put a plant in the middle of the table, like a centerpiece, but you can't really put anything on the table on the middle. So right now what I'm doing is I'm getting a cypress plant to put in between each table. And you'll see what I'm talking about, but I just wanted some plants in the middle of the table. And yeah, so right now I'm putting those cypress plants just to give it like some cool details and make it look more spring i will be posting pictures on my instagram It's at cotton.lace and I will be putting all the pictures that I post on here and yeah, if you want to follow me, I post a bunch of things from this channel and the island tours I do, the speed builds. If you want to keep in touch, you can totally follow me if you want to. And I'm just customizing the turkey day chairs to be spring. I tried to put the wedding arch but I didn't like how it looked because it blocks it you can't really see the table when you have that so okay this section also had a, a reference picture and I'll put it on the screen and it's just like a barrel with a little chair and yeah
adding the flowers, the finishing touches, I wanted them to be very colorful. I kept the same color scheme as the last area. And yes, I am stealing some plants because I didn't have any other plants. Uh, stealing from the castle. Oh yeah, this is the end result. This is the floral dining area. That butterfly, thank you for being there. You really added to the effect, so I'm gonna have to thank you for that. This is the dining area. It looks very whimsical and also very formal. So I'm very excited on how this turned out, and I hope you guys liked how that area turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so excited that it's spring on Animal Crossing. It is so beautiful. And if you guys liked it, please like and subscribe. That would really help me out. So thank you so much. <laughs>